Hello everyone, I'm Nirav Shah from Fortinet, and with me we have John Madison, a CMO and EVP of our products. And today we are really excited to talk about innovations to continue help our customers securing remote users while providing consistent user experience. Now John, I know you talk to so many customers and there's is, there is a lot of things happening in the industry where the networking and security teams are coming together to solve many problems. Can you talk about what you are seeing in the market? Yeah, well, first of all, Narav, nice to see you in a suit, looking smart. Um, I think the big uh, term is consolidation. So customers are saying, I've got too many point product vendors, both on the networking side and the cybersecurity side. I want to start consolidating so I can get better security and more efficient and reduce the complexity. And they can do that two ways. They can do it, first of all, by converging things. So things like Secure SD-WAN, SASE, ZTNA, or they can create a integrated cybersecurity platform where you connect things together. A good example would be connecting my EDR to my network to create XDR. You used a term called SASE, and I know in the industry right now, with analysts using new terms, we have heard SASE, SSE, single vendor SASE. What does this mean? Well, everyone likes their acronyms, as you know, uh, to confuse people. Uh, SASE is probably a broad term, uh, Secure Access Services Edge. It consists of two main components. One is uh, Secure Services Edge, which consists of CASB, uh, Secure Web Gateway, Firewall as a Service, for example, and some partial pieces of ZTNA. Uh, and then the other component is SD-WAN, of course. So bringing those together, that's what people refer to as SASE. I think you, you touched upon convergence, and I know at Fortinet has been a cornerstone for us, bringing that cybersecurity and networking technologies what are the foundational elements that we have invested? Well, you're right. The company is 22 years old. I think it was founded on the principle of convergence, uh, and that is putting as much networking capability and cybersecurity into a single operating system. It's called 40 OS. We sometimes refer to it as 40 OS everywhere. And so on the networking side, we brought together both network firewall, uh, SD-WAN, uh, access control in terms of um, APs and switches, uh, ZTNA most recently, and we bring it all together inside one OS, all the different security pieces, IPS, uh, IoT security, OT, uh, all those components. Uh, and then you can deploy that uh, not only in a hardware, and when we do hardware, we have some very special ASICs that make it very fast, um, but also in software, also as virtual, uh, also as a service from us, uh, and also containerized. So I think, so that's great. So I think the way you described as a service is really our 40 SASE. Correct, yes. So the, the idea behind, we have done this for the last 20 years, it's the same 40 US, same AI powered 40 guard services, now available as a service for the cloud delivered fashion. But this 40 SASE ultimately secured the remote users, provide them the internet access, private access, SaaS access. I know there are a lot of new innovations we are working on, John. Can you talk about some of the exciting innovations in the 40 SASE area? Yeah, well, first of all, we try and make it simple for our customers, and it's 40 whatever it does. So 40 SASE was the most obvious name for that one. Um, but I also like to talk about the journey. Mm. And so our customers have been on this journey. Uh, you know, they've implemented uh, controls uh, inside the data center, inside the cloud, using firewalling, uh, secure connectivity of their branch campus and now uh, factories. They've implemented then an SD-WAN, which gives them application steering. So it doesn't matter if the applications are moving around or the, or the users, that the SD-WAN takes care of that. And the next step they're doing is adding secure remote access, which is through our 40 SASE. And so that 40 SASE allows remote users to connect into our cloud, and they can go straight off into the internet or into SaaS. Or most importantly, if they want to access private applications, they can connect our 40 SASE straight into their SD-WAN network and provide that efficient and secure private access. I think that's exciting because I know when you look at SD-WAN, we have now more than 20,000 customers. And as you said, they, they've deployed SD-WAN, they've deployed NG Firewall. So are you saying that now they can seamlessly connect their users to the 40 SASE uh, for a private access? Absolutely, and I think this, yeah. is, this is the issue. A lot of times, uh, a lot of vendors create a lot of noise and acronyms oh, cloud is the only way to go, or no, you have to stay on the network. Our belief is it's going to be hybrid for long term. And you need to build efficient connectivity, whether it be off the network or on the network. And so our ability to kind of use our network 
as well as the customer's network and bring them together is going to be very important going forward. Well, that's great. So now uh, we have heard single vendor SASE. So this is a true, fully integrated single vendor SASE solution where customers can use that SD-WAN connectivity going for the private application. Is that correct? Yeah, single vendor SASE is something recently, I think, that's come up. Um, but what it really means is you have this best of breed capability in these individual functions in one platform. And so today, I think you've got different vendors who have different strengths and weaknesses. Fortinet's strength is that we're a best of breed capability across all of them, and we're bringing that all together. You can see that by our leadership in many different magic quadrants across the SASE landscape. Great. Now, John, I know there's also another very important term about zero trust and the zero trust mindset. Can you talk about in the secure private access for remote users, how do we use the zero trust technologies? Yeah, we like a term because everyone likes a new term, universal ZTNA, uh, because a lot of the ZTNA has been implemented in just replacing remote access VPN. We think long-term ZTNA or zero trust across all users on the network, off the network, and for devices is very important. Uh, so we've implemented that such that all those users uh, can access applications securely, and we can enforce that, again, through our 40 OS, whether it be in the data center, in the cloud, in our cloud. Nice, so now this means that for our customers, when they want to do secure private access, we provide the most flexible way. You can go via SD-WAN connector, you can use universal ZTNA, and they can have a broadest application access. Absolutely, right? because I think all companies are different and in industries. We've got some are, are, who are born in the cloud and they want to be very cloud focused, but not 100%. You've got some of the manufacturers who will have edge compute, so they need to provide security there and zero trust to their supply chain. So I think you've got to be flexible and make sure you, you can have a solution set that works for all the companies out there. John, there is another key topic is, especially for remote users, is about SaaS applications. And a lot of SaaS applications are used for the business productivity. What are we doing for a CASB and bringing into the SaaS solution? Well, I think CASB initially, it still is to a certain degree, uh, an API-focused solution set where you use the API from the different SaaS vendors and take action on that. But we also believe inline CASB is important where we can see the traffic and take action on it. So our goal is to have both. In fact, to bring both together, again, into a single console into the operating system. Nice, and by the way, all this thing that we had talked about, SASE, endpoint protection, ZTNA, CASB, is it true that it is all done by just single unified agent? One agent connected to one operating system, but again, that can be in our cloud, it can be in a public cloud, it can be in the data center, it can even be on premise. That's great. So I think we're really talking about making operations simple, have that unified agent, going through that journey. John, any final thoughts on all we are doing about convergence and this new innovations? I think journey is the right word. Okay, I'm still talking to customers who are still using VPNs that they, put, they switched on you know, during the pandemics when it started. And so plan it out. Uh, let's get set some goals for a certain amount of users or applications. ZTNA is definitely a journey. Our, our internal journey, for example, we're still a year into it, and we're probably 80% of the applications done. So there's no quick fixes. There's no buttons you can just switch on. Plan it out. Uh, devise a blueprint on how you get there across your applications. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks. you.